Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're going to be checking out the Franz Railway Gun. Now this apparently is the largest railway gun here in Stormworks. So I'm very excited to test this out and see how well it does. We do have some targets that we're going to be trying and hitting just over there over the ridge uh, and see how well this gun works. Now this is a completely self-contained actual rail gun it's got a little bit of like a locomotive here in the front that you can move it forwards and backwards uh, it's got it can actually traverse it can pitch uh, and it's also got a whole bunch of ammo in the back that you can send along tracks and things to reload this so i'm very excited to test this out and see how well it actually works so let's go and get on it so we're going to jump up here at the front and we're going to shunt it out of the hangar here train yard so we've got brakes start stops at start okay Got lights if we want that and we can go throttle out and look at that we're moving <laughs> let's get a throttle down oh that is so cool okay let's go and get our brakes on okay so that should be fine and let's have a look at it from the outside this thing is massive like look at the gun on this okay we should have a good sighting on that target so let's go and get up now we can jump up using the ladder here from correct we might actually have to climb it what's this over here extra ammo and stuff maybe we can put inside there let's go and jump in there and let's have a look yeah so this is just allows you to come into the rear area where all the ammo is stored and there's like a lift and a trolley and all kinds of cool things you can use to get the ammo into your actual gun so let's go up here and we've got some extra seating we have got the loading and unloading features all over here we've got lights if we want to so we can actually see the gun currently is looks like loaded i mean we can open it in tech so let's do load gun let's have a look might be loaded maybe not oh it's not loaded okay oh no there we go now it's being loaded cool so now we have the option to elevate and to traverse so i mean we can start traversing i guess traverse all the way to the right here Try and get a nice sighting on that target. Now I would love to see this creator possibly adding on some ballistic calculators and things like that. So that you can enter in the range of your target. And then it will adjust the elevation accordingly. That would be really, really cool to see. Or maybe you can enter in like an XYZ coordinates. I know it definitely is possible. So I'd like to see the creator add that on. Let's go and stop traversing here. And I mean... That is pretty much almost on target. Maybe go a little bit to the right more. Yeah, that should be almost perfect, I would say. Even to the left a little bit now. Okay, let's do that. We also have a safety, so we'll get the safety unlocked. And I guess let's pitch it up a bit. I mean, that seems about right, doesn't it? A little bit to the left still. Yep, that looks almost good. Let's go and fire around on range. So fire. Oh, it's definitely very low and a little to the right. Okay, there we go. Get that up and get elevation up. Uh, now we do need to do a manual reload. So let's do a load gun. So that starts the feeder and it also opens your breech. And then you off click it and there the run goes inside. Now we do have the option to load the cart and also to switch the mag. So if I'm correct, load cart brings this thing across and oh, we're already firing. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we need to traverse much further left then. And we need to go much further up. Okay, how do we see if this thing is actually stopped or not? Uh, you can see it's still got throttle on it. That's why it's still moving. Okay. Well, you need to go left more. There we go. And let's get that zeroed out. So you can see that's still got a little bit on it. A little bit on it. There we go. That's almost almost perfect maybe like something maybe some a different way of doing this but i mean that should be fine let's go down let's have a look so we've got some rounds already in here ready to go we've also got some spare rounds here if we need to grab those so i mean we should be fine on ammo at the moment we do need to load uh let's go and just turn the firing off and <laughs> let's load another round in this is so much fun you have like a spotter you have a gunner you have a reloader you could do this in multiplayer and it could be so much fun Right, so we are, what I'm guessing would be fine. Let's go and maybe elevate ourselves up a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fire around down range and let's see where that's going to hit. 
Oh, that was almost 100% on target. Did that destroy? We almost got it. Okay, so elevation up just like a tiny bit. Let's put another round inside. So load, wait for the breach to open. Wait, 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 wait. Click it again. There the round goes. Uh, we're going to wait for that all to finish. Close the breach. Get some targets. Okay, and we're good to go. And fire. Oh, that was a little too high. Okay, down. There we go. Let's reload it again. I want to. I want to. I want to hit that thing. I want to. I want to make sure that thing goes down. Cool. Go round going in. Turn firing off. Let's just double check to see this thing's not moving. It is moving a little bit, but I think we should be fine. All right. Okay. Let's go and put another firing down range. Oh, that was a little bit, a little bit too high. Okay down a bit more and then we need to traverse a little thing to the left yep that looks about fine let's stop the traverse if I can you can see here it's a little bit finicky but I mean that should be all right okay let's go and load another round let's have a look at where our barrel is at the moment I mean we still need to go a little bit to the left that should probably be all right yeah, that should be good. I'll unload that. Okay. Is the gun still moving to the right? It is ever so slightly moving to the right still. But I mean, that should be right. We can counter it. Okay, there goes another round. Oh, still a little bit too high. Let's bring it down a bit more. Let's go and load it again. Okay, so now it's loaded. There it goes. Oh, a little bit too low and we're still moving a little bit to the right there. So we're going to go up ever so slightly. Let's do another quick reload. We are still going a little bit to the right. Let's try and stop that from going to the right. So the only thing I would change is how the traverse is handled. But that's my only, only gripe with this at the moment. But so far, this is so much fun. Let's go and have a look at that one. Oh, that one's a little bit too high. I mean, we can probably go to the left a bit. And let's go and load the gun again while that's happening. Stop that. Okay, let's take that off. Come on. Still moving a little bit to the left there. Right. Should be firing any second now. Come on. Oh, yes, that was a direct hit. Look at that, two vehicles gone. Oh man, that is cool. This is really fun to play with this. Guys, I definitely recommend you go and check out this rail gun being the largest one apparently we have here in Stormworks. It's a lot of fun to play with. I will leave a link to in the video description. As always, go give some love over to the creator. And if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and until the next one, we will see you then.